Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about owning your learning. Okay, so um, I'm not going to really go into the resource, but you're supposed to go through all this. And this one talks about the peer learning day. So basically, the peer learning day is a day dedicated for you to review all you've done through the week. Peer learning day majorly is always at the end of the week, and you'll be like ten in numbers, and then you join a group where you can do video call, share your screen and um, talk about every topic you've done okay so far for the week. So um, for this week if I should go to this ALX tab you will see we have a current peer learning day um, holding tomorrow Friday 06 and we have to talk about this um, 3, 4, 5, 6 topic. So you can either join a group, okay? So if you click on join a group, and then um, you see this is a group um, of 10 people. The group is full already. So you look for a group that is not full, okay? And I think you can sort it out. So hide full groups, okay? Look at all these ones are not full. So you can join this guy's group join this guy's group or you can also create your own group okay so um, that's basically it so for the task um, let's just go back to the task owning your learning so peer learning is just about data all these um, um, resources talks about what you should do in a peer learning and all that stuff you get so yeah so you can go through all this one as well and then go to the quiz question so this one is just about the quiz. After the quiz, um, you just run your checker and then it will click on done. So the quiz question, you have 11 questions and it said, which is more, is more important, focus versus diffuse thinking? Both, because focus thinking would help you solve instant problem. Diffuse thinking would help you solve some problems that you, you, you might not um, need that um, so you might need the solution but it's not something you need instantly you understand so you need both and then for this one you pick all which of the following is true about Feynman's learning technique all is true information is learned when you can explain it to others you understand the point of learning is for you to understand and then um, because learning doesn't happen and um, like that so question two it is everything except provide screenshots. ALX does not recommend you providing screenshots. So even if you want to share a code, you will type the code to the person and tell the person, okay, this is what I've tried. Uh, uh, provide some sample, sum up the question in a title, provide content, and that. So, um, okay, they, they are even technical question. So I think this one they give you tips so that you can solve it, okay? Just in case you have difficulties. So question four, which is question number three. Um, everything except trust everyone on everything on the intranet. Not everything on the intranet will be true because some people would definitely put some false things, but it's, it's left to you to actually find out which one is true or not so you should google google some if you have to google anytime you have to google specifics um something specific don't tell google to give you the answer just say okay i'm having an issue with this thing and helping with this thing you understand so all these are already in the resources okay i don't want to waste time that's why i'm not going through the resource um question four um when giving help to a peer it is important to what mark everything do not give the final answer try and there are no stupid questions and respect all their questions and then question six which is question hashtag five he says when asking a peer for help it is important to remember you still mark everything it's your job to ask and it's your job to help like that and explain what the problem is blah 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 according to richard Feynman, all does it mean what does it mean to know it is still everything the person who says he knows and he thinks but cannot express if you know something and you cannot express that thing it means you don't know it according to richard Feynman when you only know 
uh, what something is called and you have no real sense of what it is you only know the name but you don't know what it is then you don't know it you understand you only know um, the, let's say there's a word um, polio, tolon, andrographis, paniculata you, you only know that word and you don't know what it is then you don't even know what that thing is okay when you know something the label are unimportant because it's necessary to keep it in the box it came in why because you have to know the content you get so which of the following is part of the recommendation learning framework with ALX program everything read the project write or draw out your problem uh, whether or not the code runs you need to know what you've done all those things pause take a break and uh, a breath and think of solution so number eight they give you where you can read as well why you should ask and answer technical questions these are why you should ask and answer you select all you will gain a better understanding of the problem you learn by answer question questions you learn how to ask questions and then number nine and number ten which is the final one so number nine is make things bigger more complex which of the following is not a step don't make things more complex that's just it it's not a step and then the last one which is focus thinking is like seeing a brick wall and saying it's just too difficult to run through or climb through while diffuse thinking is like is like your mind saying hey why don't we tie balloons and just float over it so like focus thinking will help you for instant something you want to do instantly you are seeing that brick wall okay so you see the difficulty in that brick wall so that's a focus thinking but for this one which is diffused you are not you are, it's not like you want to fly at the moment but you are just thinking just came to your mind that uh, why don't we even tie balloons and float over it like why don't we use balloon and fly to different countries you understand those kind of thoughts it's not like you want to fly instantly so those are diffuse thinking they are necessary in order to bring um, innovations but um, um, to, for creations rather while focused would bring about solutions to different things instantly instantaneous solution to stop and then you run your check and that will be done so um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe like this video in order to support us and we'll see you in the next video if you have any question drop it on the comment section and don't forget to join our whatsapp group on the description the link is there see you and let me know if you have any issue bye